Ahoy! Welcome back! Are you ready for your next book? Now, last time we read Clark the Shark and the Big Book Report. Now, today we're going to be reading Charlie's Curious Pet Shop, Duck Millions Messy Room by E.B. Adams. Now, I have a whole set of books and I'm about to um, download a lot more. So, you can tell me which ones you want me to read for the next video tomorrow. So, we're going to read Duck Millions Messy. Whoops. Duck Million's messy room. By the name Duck Million, what do you think that animal is or may, is made from? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. All right, let's begin. So Charlie's house is called Charlie's Curious Pet Shop because Charlie is her name and she sells many curious creatures. You may not have heard of all of these creatures, but they would make great pets. Hello, said a customer. I called about the duck million. Over here, Mrs. Chung, said, said Charlie, waving her hand. You see Charlie waving her hand below. Man, this room is messy. There's pizza on top of this box here. There are three eggs, three different color eggs on top of that box. There's some, they look like mushrooms, but I think they're muffins. Three muffins there, an umbrella over there, a spider coming down on the lady this room is quite messy i hope your room doesn't look like this and if it does i'm gonna have to work on that right yep charlie led mrs chung to duck million's room mrs chung didn't enter messy room she said sorry it's not usually like this he must be outside yeah charlie's room is quite messy isn't it you could move some of these things yeah, Charlie's room is very messy. Things everywhere. Duck Million was sleeping by the pond. By the pool, sorry. Here he is, said Charlie. You see, they are remarkable creatures. I can't see him, said Mrs. Chung. Mrs. Chung poked Duck Million, who's right next to her foot, with her fancy pointy shoes. What do you think will happen next? Let's see. The duck million woke up with a squawk and the poop. Ew! shouted Mrs. Chung. He pooped on my fancy pointy shoes. Hopping away, she said, Sorry, Charlie, but I can't have such a messy creature in my house. <coughs> That's the sound that the duck million makes. <laughs> the shop needed needed more customers and losing a customer made charlie upset this is your fault duck million now go upstairs and clean up your messy room oh <coughs> he's sad now look at his face he looks so sad charlie was busy cleaning up the pet shop she heard loud noises coming from upstairs hmm wonder what that could be what do you think it could be Doug Million was busy having a dance party. Nice. No music. No dancing. Not until you clean up this yucky mess, said Charlie. Where's Doug Million? I can't find him. I don't know where he is. I see a duck, but that's not Doug Million. Okay. Charlie was busy cleaning up the pet shop. Whoa, look at that. She felt water dripping down from upstairs. Oh, no. What on earth could be going on upstairs, man? Duck Million was busy reading books in the bathtub. That's strange. Who does that? No more story time. Not until you clean up this mucky mess, said Charlie. Oh, he dipped his head real quick. I think he's not happy. <laughs> Charlie was busy cleaning up the pet shop. She saw toys flying down the stairs. Stop! <laughs> Duck Million was busy throwing toys. I'm going to throw away all your toys and you have no one to blame but yourself, shouted Charlie. Duck Million ran away and disappeared. Oh no. Phew, he's gone. After throwing everything out the window, Charlie looked at the yucky, mucky mess she had made. Duck Million was busy hiding. Where is he? 
I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's right there in the bush. In the second, um, the second bush. He's peeping through. Oh, that's sad. Charlie closed up the shop for the day. The million, she shouted. I'm sorry for being such a yucky, mucky person. I made a mess by getting angry. Can we do something fun together? Duck million reappeared. You see, they are remarkable creatures. And there he is above her head. Charlie played Duck million's favorite songs while they cleaned up his room together. Nice. Is that how you would like it? When your room is messy, you want your parents to help you clean it up? That would be pretty, pretty awesome, wouldn't it? Charlie read aloud Duck Million's favorite stories while he cleaned up the bathroom. That's nice. Duck Million helped Charlie organize her shop. Wow, the shop has never looked so squeaky clean before. That's awesome. There she is sweeping. Duck Million is drawing or painting. Lots of animals in this shop. Oh, look at that one. Oops. After they finished cleaning, Charlie and Duck Million took a break. Charlie said, Duck Million, you're very good at cleaning. Would you like to... Hello? Are you open? Yelled the customer over the fence. Charlie looked at Duck Million, who nodded. Yes, come around. He's such a cool Duck Million. Charlie had the busiest day ever. Customers were staying longer and buying more. But the hottest item in the shop was... What do you think the hottest item in the shop was? Oh, Duck, Duck Million is feeding the dog. That's awesome. And these people are throwing the duck. That's cool. The Duck Million. How much? It's mine. I saw it first. I must have it. <laughs> Charlie shook her head. I'm sorry, everyone, but this remarkable creature is not for sale, said Charlie. Squeaky works here. <coughs> Aw, that's so sweet. So that's it for this one. I'm going to read another one for you tomorrow, so let me know which one you want me to read. I have lots of books here, and I'm about to download a lot more. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.